Welcome to the credits video for Let's Play The Messenger. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh... Good God, what a journey! <laughs> I fucking did it. I kind of can't believe I made it all the way. What a what a fucking game this has been. The controls are so tight. Shout out to the rest of the Sabotage crew. No. Oh. Some dead pets. Donkey Kong Country 2. Uh... You know, guys, if I didn't know any better, I'd think this is a French developer. <laughs> Them necro Goblicon boys? Those swashbuckle boys and some veil boys. Wrong it. The ass crew. <laughs> That's very funny to me. Oh, just throw a devolver digital in there in the middle. Dragon Eyes was the dude who made the music, I know that. Oh, maybe it's French Canadian, that's what that is. Maybe it's a Quebecois uh, developer. Odd World Inhabitants? Like, the people who made, uh... Well, Oddworld. That series of games. But, I mean, the, the controls were excellent. Every time I fucked up, it felt like it was... Like, okay, I, sc I screwed up there. Except for ones that I could count on one hand. Like that one that was, uh... Me touching the already closed, uh... Crushers, just earlier today. Oh yeah, there you go. Quebec. Pronounced like que, not que, for those of you who aren't from Canada. Quebec. I do really, really enjoy that the special thanks list is like three times longer than the actual credits. Aw, thank you. You're welcome. I had a great time with this game. I wouldn't have gotten so frustrated if I weren't so invested in it, I guess. At times, I mean, frustrated at times. <clears throat> Then the mask shattered into pieces, and humanity was finally rid of the demon curse. The end. Wow, talk about a long story. Well, you asked. Anything else I can help you with? I don't know, I can't afford any upgrades at the moment. Well, do you have any other stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. I love that he had the scroll on his back. Like they just kept making messengers. to be continued. Nice! I'm gonna hold you guys to that. Because I know you're working on uh, Sea of Stars these days, and uh, it's in the same world as The Messenger, but let's face it, it's not a sequel. No, it's not even a prequel. Even, you know, I was gonna say it takes place 
quote, hundreds of thousands of years before the events of the messenger? Like, before the world is flooded? Oh, I have to... New Game Plus mode unlocked! Is this going to be any different? I love that they just made up a cowboy for the end there. Nah, this looks the same. I would say this game is a bit hard for just general recommendation. Like, if you don't like platforming, I don't think this is going to be the game that changes your mind. Although I would recommend the soundtrack to anyone who likes chiptunes. Like, just think about how cool it would be if you beat the game and it changes this to a 16-bit cutscene where this scene is me rushing in on Manfred. But do I recommend this game? If you like platforming games, I absolutely fucking do. Yeah, there it is. Music by Rainbow Dragon Eyes. Um... I guess I'll look at the achievements, then. Achievement unlocked. That The fake ending was better. Beat the game. Let's see... There was a couple of them in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was pretty good. Sounds better on vinyl. Complete the melody. I'm your biggest fan. Defeat Phantom. Wheelin' and sealin' destroy all power seals. Hell yeah. Look at that! 28th of April, destroy my first power seal. 28th of May, destroy your all power seals. It took me one month to get them all. Almost exactly one month. Wow. Even the time was close. And the ones I didn't get were, uh, I swear it's my first time, make it through Dark Cave without the power of true sight. I guess I'll jump in and see if anything happens. Unless this is just gonna be New Game Plus. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Stuck before the final boss. Ah, yes! Yes, I was going to get to that. No, this one. Favorite music in the game for while I do this. Bait taken. Be lectured on the power of stories. I would never need to be lectured on the power of stories. You said this was a platformer. Be lectured on the inner child. Welco met to... What? Welcome to the next level, but it's all in weird, broken-up form. Keep a windmill shuriken going for 15 seconds. No argument here. Make it from the beginning of the game to beating the Queen of Quills to zero deaths. Uh, rocked Opus, defeat Octo. Voodoo Totem, defeat the Voodoo Totem. Oh! Shit, that's uh, giving things away, I just realized. Because, you remember this and how it told me to come back when I beat the game? Well, it turns out that this game, of all games, has a DLC chapter. An extra uh, gameplay uh, area called Picnic Panic that uh, we're going to be taking a look at real, real soon. So even though we've beaten the final boss, saved the world, and gotten the credit roll, we're not done here yet, Burning Dog fans. And now that I've uh, conquered the entire world and brought peace to the Earth, I guess I'll call this credit video. That's why I wasn't making such an effort to talk about whether or not, you know, oh, the, the specifics I liked about the game and the recommendations and all that. I just kind of skimmed through the usual level of detail there. Like, I didn't think this game was perfect. I did have some issues with it. Hee <laughs> hee.
Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. So, I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Let's Play the Messenger. When we find out what Guy, Dan, and company do... Well, now that they don't have a world to save. <laughs> Later!